Well, Renee made a major discovery. We pulled over here to spend the night at a roadside boondocking location that we found. And it's not real level, so I pulled the tire up on some blocks on the one side. And uh, Renee was watching me pull it up on the blocks, and she saw a great big bubble on the inside of the sidewall. Look at that knot. Big old bulbs coming out there. We'll get a better look at it after we get this off. But I get to use all my emergency tools now. I'm sure glad I brought the floor jack and my breaker bar. Oh, oh my gosh, you do have the right one, uh, right? There we go. All right, so they've all popped loose, so I'll be able to jack it up now and easily get them to break free when the wheel's up in the air. Got tire chocks on the other side. I wonder how long ago that bubble formed on there. We've been going 75 miles an hour on the expressway for quite a while. If that had blown, it would be a disaster. I've been doing a walk around to the whole rig at every gas stop, but I haven't been getting down on my hands and knees, so I didn't notice if this bulge was even there at the last gas stop. I suppose I should work that into my gas stop routine. It's a fairly new tire. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we only had this, we've, this is, we've only yeah. done two summers. Not 10,000 miles on that tire. These were Castle Rock ST. Radial ST226. And it's an ST225 slash 75R15 made in China for trailer use only. That's a new tire? Yep. Yeah. I just stepped the air pressure on the floor. It was rolling. I'm nervous about that other tire now. We need to get under there and... Well, now we're without a spare. <laughs> right. All right, I got the bad tire off and the spare on. And the next order of business will be 
buying a pair of new tires. I guess we averted another disaster. That's not what you want to see on a trailer tire. All right, we're set up in camp. And I took the tires off one at a time. Took them into a tire shop and had two new heavier duty tires put on. So now I gotta get these new ones on and get the spare back off and back up onto the tongue where it started. So I didn't buy a third one for the spare. It's still in uh, like new condition and the ones I got, they're heavier duty and higher speed rating, but they're the same size. So the spare will work fine with either one of them. I had this torque driver with me on the side of the road, but the reason I used the breaker bar is I couldn't find my little adapter to attach the correct size socket to this tool. So I did it the old school way out alongside the road. This will be a little quicker with the right tool now. Check on the hubs while I got them off. Make sure there's no bearing wobble. That's good there. spare back where it came from and I want the stem facing up right about here so I can check the pressure without pulling it out and my waving, my waving boots out of there it's a good place for them to dry in the sun I just got to torque the lug nuts, then we'll be all set. All right, I got to 
pair of new tires on it and I took the occasion to upgrade to 12 ply and their, the load rating is the 121 slash 17 and their M speed rated. The ones I took off were 113, 108 L's, which was max speed 75 miles per hour and a load of about, well, these are single, so the 113 would be just about, just over 2,500 pounds. So these are the 121 M's, higher rated speed of uh, max speed, I believe it's 81 miles per hour and it bumps the load up about 700 pounds per tire. It's just, just shy of 3,200 pounds on a 121, I believe. So general upgrade on the, on the tires is never a bad thing. Better safe than sorry for a few hundred bucks more. So we're ready to get back on the road. Next stop after here is Gardner, Montana, going into Yellowstone National Park for a couple of days and, in, and down into Grand Teton National Park. Thanks a lot for watching. DFO Channel out.